Hey there, and welcome to this session. Uh, today, I want to talk about the spiritual issues that impact our money, okay? Now, we've had a really interesting uh, 12, 18 months now with the coronavirus spreading around the world. And it's fascinating when these things happen because what they do is they tend to expose the state of the human heart. You know, tough times tend to really highlight to us are we really trusting in God? Now, trusting in God is an expression a lot of you know, Christians like to use, but it's often only when tough times come that it's really tested. So this is a really fascinating time uh, for this thing to happen. And so here's the key spiritual issue firstly to address, and that is, do we really trust God with our money? Do we really have dependence on Him? So that's the first thing I'd like to leave with you to think about. Do I really trust God with my money? Has this coronavirus exposed something in my, in my life. The second thing is the fear of lack, okay? So what typically happens uh, for many of us is we have this fear that mm, one day the money's gonna run out or if I give money, so if I give into the, you know, the church offering or give to a particular organization, I then fear that I'm somehow gonna miss out, that there's gonna be a lack. And that, of course, that fails to understand the good God that we have. You know, God is a loving father. He is good to his children. You know, I'm a father, I've got four kids. And when I think about my kids, I always think about, you know, what can I do to, to bless them? You know, and like God, like God is like that too. Only, of course, he's far more generous and far more loving as a father than I am. So we shouldn't have any fear of lack. We should have this absolute adamant belief that God will meet my needs. Okay, I will not go hungry. I will not get into... Um, you know, massive difficulty that I can't get out of. God is above my circumstances. Uh, and that's a very important thing to understand is that God is all powerful. He is above our circumstances and he can meet all of our needs without any problem. You know, there's no recession in heaven, okay? Uh, and that's, so one of the things that, you know, these viruses and, you know, global problems expose is just our dependency on our job as opposed to our dependency on God. So that's the second one. The, the, the third one, and I think this is a really important one, and certainly a passion of mine, in fact, our ministry is called Wealth with Purpose. And, and the reason that is I think many people don't have enough purpose with their money. That is, they don't have the kingdom mentality uh, that's required. You know, Matthew 6, 33 says, Seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. So the point of the Christian life is to seek first his kingdom and in fact I would say the, the the real point is to glorify God with your life does your life glorify God and of course then does it glorify God with your money you know so we should need to have an eternal perspective with our money and so once again the spiritual issue here is that um, the devil would love to distract you from this mission he wants you to take you away from your first love Jesus Christ and he wants to stop you from funding his kingdom, okay, as in God's kingdom. So it's absolutely critical we have this eternal perspective towards our money and start living as though, you know, Jesus is going to return tomorrow because he, he might. Certainly the way, the, way the, uh, the world looks at the moment, it certainly feels like we're very much in the, in the end times and that Jesus may return. Uh, of course, we don't know when. Is it 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, longer, who knows? But the point is it certainly has that sense about it. So that's the third one. The fourth one and the fourth spiritual issue here is discontentment. You know, we live in a society that's absolutely obsessed with, with getting stuff, you know, endless, endless, endless wants, endless, uh, you know, desires that people have for getting stuff. Uh, and so as a result, many people are discontent. In fact, there's something like $500 billion each year spent on advertising around the world to convince you to buy things you don't necessarily need. Think about all the programs on TV designed to get you to you know, build a bigger house and better house and all these kind of things uh, that it's driving us towards. And as a result, of course, Many of us don't have the resources to achieve all the things that we see in, on, you know, on TV. And as a result, we become discontent. And so one of the key uh, things for Christians to learn, and Paul talks about this in the New Testament, is that, that we need to learn contentment. Okay? So discontentment is that fourth spiritual issue. Um, and then the, the last one is our identity. And this one is one, you know, I'll admit that I've struggled with over the years, particularly when I was you know, young. I started off as a stockbroker, and one of the 
the key things is I wanted to not only be successful, but I wanted to look successful. And so you think about what, how, what that does to your behavior with money. You know, you want to have an expensive car, you want to have nice suits, you want to have all, all the, the things that give the impression that you are successful, as well as, of course, the desire to be successful. Now, of course, there's nothing wrong with wanting to do well. In fact, I would encourage you that whatever, you know, God has given for you to do, that you do really well at it. You know, you strive, you do your best. As Christians, we should be aiming to be excellent in whatever we do. But what we should never do is get our identity from those things. And so it's critical we step back and say, hmm, do I get my self-worth from what I do? Do I get my self-worth from what I have? Because if we do, then we're going to run into problems at some point. So there's a couple of the spiritual issues that I wanted just to leave with you to, to think about and ponder and ask yourself, are any of these issues affecting you? Okay, because they can have a big effect on our life and a big impact on the way we think and, and the way we behave with money. So I hope that's been really helpful just to identify the issues. That's what I, I want to identify the issues in this episode more so than the solutions, but just give you the things to think about and ponder and to pray through and ask God to expose them and, and ask God to help you deal with them. So thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you next time. <laughs>